guys, my name is Haley Candy, and welcome back to another episode of, but this time it's a bit different from what, it's, it is the same creator from 13 days of my life or something, but it's a different episode, and welcome to someday. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but feeling from the vibes of 13 days of life will be the same thing as this, so... Anyways, I'm hoping they have like a warning in, before the game starts because I don't want to repeat myself every time because, you know, it may cause people to be depressed or sad or anything that is like sad and depressing because we don't want that, but you know, in a way, I, I guess in a way I have to take this game seriously and follow whatever happens so, yeah. the game. In the life, there are different events. Sometimes there are good events, sometimes bad, but sometimes happens something that you don't expect at all. It's already dark. I used to like it when it's dark outside. I 
always loved the silence that comes closer to the night. She loved the sunny weather of that day. I fell in love with her, and all that she just like eventually began to like me too. But, when we, then, but then we broke up. It was dark. It was, ah, damn it! I can't pronounce things. It was here in this parking lot. I guess that's why it's so hard for me to get. It's 
time to light the fire. Tell me for the prize. such a strange comparison, but it's original. I hope someday, finally, I'll finish this song. Be sure to tell me when it's ready. I want to hear what you get later. Okay. I remember how my family went on a name under. I was still in school, started to learn. At first, I didn't want to go with them, but I had no choice that I could be left all alone at home, so they took me with them. When I was little, my parents were afraid to leave me alone at home too, but if it happened, something usually happened, for which I was later punished. <laughs> uh -huh. Did you play a lot of the jokes? No, well, maybe sometimes. Uh -huh. Then my relatives and I went to the forest. It was not as bad as I expected. I climbed the trees and I was not even schooled for it. Lit, lit a bonfire, roasted marshmallow. It was even fun. I, I like to look at a bonfire and feel the heat coming from it. It's probably it's great. You'll feel a little wild, probably. Now all these trips to the forest are remembered as another life, like a dream, something that was not actually. After the end of the school, this didn't actually like, happen again. Life became different. As if all the little joys that were in life somewhere disappeared and no matter how much you want, you can't return again. Sometimes I like your sad mood. When you're so pensive, I love you, David. I love you too, Evie. It was a happy day, even the best in this life. I hope 
my project pays off and I can get a little more money so that I don't work for a while. This works makes me so tired. Maybe someday I'll find something better. I hope that I will find. I'm tired. It would be better if I called a taxi. My eyes closed and I'm so terrible. I want to sleep. In this stupid fog, I can't see anything at all. Oh shit, what happened? Suddenly, sudden blow. The sound of the breaking glass. He was clamped in a vice and unable to move. He was terribly hurt. He felt like his life leaves him, but for some reason it seemed to him that his this was not the end. His life doesn't stop so simply in an instant. Emptiness doesn't come. He knew it. Someday. <laughs> was that the intro the whole time? Someday. Oh, he looks fine. Where am I? This is a hospital. I had an accident. No, you need to calm down. You are alright. It looks like I fell asleep at the wheel and crashed into a tree. It's in the past, David. It's okay. My name is Walter. Now you are at the T TPI Research Institute. At the Research Institute? Why am I here? What's with me? You're in the Phoenix program. Phoenix? Yes, you probably have a lot of questions now. But, before I answer them, I must tell you something. So, try not to panic and behave yourself good. Since many of those who are in your place are starting to behave, it's not entirely acceptable in this situation. The, man the management ordered to put security near the door, just in case. I'm not one of those people who panic without figuring out what's going on. That's good. No matter how strange it is for you, but you died in that accident. It happened on October 20th, 2007. I was in a clinical death or a coma, right? No. But I'm here now, alive. Yes, that's the whole point of the Phoenix program. Now, 2757, you can say you were in the- What? We're way past in the future. The fuck? Like, why? What? Why would I be in the fucking field? 2757? The Phoenix program allows you to restore a living being based on its DNA and other data, even hundreds of years after his death. <clears throat> we will not go into, into the scientific details much in my experience. This, will, this is not always interesting or stored. I'll tell you only that you are very lucky. This is the second chance you can say. You're probably in shock now, and... No, it's just like a big joke. I agree. If I had an accident in 2007, and I was in 2757... <laughs> Sorry, I cannot resist. You can see here for yourself that I'm telling the truth when you leave this building. So that's it. You can be free. Like this. Is that all? Fuck! Before you go, please go to the room 408. There you'll be given all the necessary things. Alright, bye. Did you re revive me with this thing? 
Ah, uh, no, it's just a diagnostic tool to track all the process processes that occur in your body. The center for the recovery of living organisms is below us, on the lower level, and it is much larger than this device. I see. Can I look at it? Just wondering how it all looks. The process of uh, revitalization. Now, now it's impossible, but maybe someday. What is it on the monitors? This is a report that your recovery is completed successfully without errors. Are there any mistakes? No. Now everything is tested and works flawlessly. We would not use it on the people if we are alert. Not sure about it. I hope everything will be alright with me. Do not worry about it. You're not the first person who goes through the recovery process. Everything will be fine. And one more thing. You have to come back here in two days. Why? I'll explain everything to you later. You have a bracelet on your arm that will notify you when you need to return. Well, now, see you, David. Damn. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi. Are you, are you from Walter? Quickly, he introduces the case, right? Yeah, somehow it's all strange. I was also a little stunned after I woke up to be in the future. I didn't even believe it at first. Two days passed, and I still don't believe that this is reality. reality. Madness some kind of. I just woke up and didn't go out yet, so I can't judge how crazy everything is. So, come on, hurry up, and don't forget to look in the office of 408 to Jesse. It's time for me to go to Walter. My timer is almost over. You also have such a brace to put the timer, don't you? Yes, but why do you have to go back in two days? I don't know, maybe some examination still. We... we were revived. Okay, bye. Maybe we'll meet again later. See you, Amanda. Guarding, this is a serious business. Shut the fuck up. Shut, shut, shut the fuck up. As you all know, at this instant, we revive people, and therefore, I highly recommend reading all the instructions I wrote about how to behave if to have to communicate with the, with the restored. For some restored people, the restoration procedure is somewhat unnatural, especially for people of all of a more ancient age than ours. Try to be more calm and careful introduce them, them into the course of events. And of, and of course, I remind you, for non-compliances with any job descriptions, you will be very severely reprimanded. Your faithfully, Dr. Walter Coleman. You must be Jesse. I... Oh, <laughs> I'm talking like if I was a girl, then. You must be Jesse. I was asked to come to you. It's me. Come on in. Walter said that I should have been given something before I leave here. Yes, hold the card. You might need it if you want to buy something in the, the room key in the hotel where you can spend the night. The key? I can't go back to the hotel. I'm afraid not. So many years have passed. Your home is no, is no more. Sorted out with the clothes. Do you still have stories in the future? Of course, they're they're stay. <laughs> they stayed. <laughs> well, now you can go. Maybe then. Oh, well then. Goodbye. The Phoenix Institute was originally engaged in the research in the field of cloning and living organisms. In 2044, 2344, Jeremy Oldridge, Oldridge began to explore the remains of prehistoric animals. Later, Jeremy Oldridge Did they spell his name wrong? And Will Finch proposed a system on which is which was possible to restore dead cells of living organism. In 2471, scientists of the Phoenix Institute for the first successful 
quickly manage to recreate the cells of the de deceased animal. <clears throat> In 2479, Michael Ramsey was able to fully revitalize the living entity for the experiments. He used the remains of his son's dog, which died 10 years ago. As it turned out later, the restored living organism has a partial memory of it in past life. After the arrival of the Ramsey dog, she showed signs of recognizing some people in her master. In 2743, Walter Coleman received permission to restore people. In the same year, work began on the creations of a complex where human organisms will be restored. In 2750, the first person was alive. Unfortunately, he showed strong signs of memory loss. In 2752, after the full processing of the technological recovery process, the next candidate was revived. The recovery was a complete success for the man was fully aware of himself and did not show any signs of negative signs. Interesting. I advise you to cherish every second. What? It's nothing. Not everyone has a second chance. Good day to you, David. City of the future. Not too much has changed in 700 years. I thought everything would look like in fantastic films, tall buildings before the clouds, flying cars, cyborgs, holograms. I'm even a little disappointed. <laughs> I would be too. Everything looks almost as before, but it seems the city somehow changed and this building was not there before. Maybe Dr. Koma have a joke, so have joke, so maybe not so much time has passed. Good afternoon. Can I find out what's the date now? Haha. <laughs> the restored ones are always so strange. Haha. <laughs> it's June 16th, 2757. Haha. <laughs> All the best. I hope you like the new world. Thank you. Yes, I guess I look a bit strange. Yesterday, I met Jason. He was a silver. For a long time, it was not a visible day, they say. He crawled with his new wife. They crawled every day. It seemed to me it's it is high time they have already divorced. That's right. Why do they live together if they can't get along with each other? I remember the cinema. Somehow, Evie and I used to go here to watch a movie before we both woke up. I wonder if it still works. It looks like it's been closed for a long time already. Probably in the future there are other entertainments and going to the cinema or thing of the past. As soon as, soon as you go to watch a movie, you just buy a couple of popcorn glasses. At and at the end of the movie, you suddenly notice that he is no more. Memories of the Past Life, the premiere of October 12, 2131, directed by Matthew Owen. Flight to the Moon, premiere on February 18, 2068, directed by Christian Taft. Last Day, premiere on December 4, 2114, directed by Sarah Rain. Broken Heart, premiere on August 30th, 2998, directed by Aaron Pass. Return, premiere on May 21, 2168, directed by Deborah Dane. I've reviewed so many films here, not even count now. I remember that horror film that was filmed as an amateur video on the camera. It was something new, in the hall there was such silence at viewing. Raiden was sitting, squeezed into the ch his chair, and shuddered every time a ghost appeared on the screen. It was creepy. Then they began to shoot the sequels one by one until everyone was fed up and this genre completely disappeared. What was the name of that movie to which Evie called me? 
someday after 5,000 years. That day I myself wanted to invite her to go to the movies, but she was ahead of me. And the evening after work, she met me in the parking lot a lot and said that she had a little surprise for me. And when she reached for the cinema, it turned out that she had spoiled my surprise for her. It turned out to be a bit uncomfortable. It was their first joint trip to the cinema, going back to the only cinema in the city, which still black and white films were shown. Oh my god, we're back to the past. I have not been to the cinema for a long time. I've been here a lot. So that's where you disappeared while I'm not around. I love movies. Me too, but there is almost no time to walk here every day. You can watch at home, for example. No, I don't really like watching movies at home. It's better here on the big screen. I agree, it's better to watch in the cinema, especially the old black and white films. I love black and white cinemas. And you? Me too. Soon, soon we'll begin. Let's go. I'll buy popcorn. And me too. Okay. Want to buy a cola or a popcorn? Two glasses of popcorn. Two dollars. Happy viewing! Wait, what is this? Big trouble coming on January 3rd, 1931. Oh, so we're in that day and age. Okay. Directed by Eddie Baker. Someday after 5,000 years. Premiere on February 5th, 1931. Directed by Virginia Cheryl. Our seats are over there, at the end of the first row. Oh, sorry. Hi, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Have you been able to step on everyone's feet? <laughs> Almost. Why in cinemas always make such a narrow passage between rows? Maybe all cinema architects lacks intimacy with people. <laughs> and so they came up with a narrow passage so that they could always be touched. <laughs> oh my god. You're right. You're right. Someday after 5,000 years, probably fantastic. Oh, a horror movie. No, it's, it's fantastic. Horror films are not cold, so... Sound romantic, yes? Someday after... After 5,000 years. Someday after 5,000 years, a spaceship arrives on Earth. Out of it appear evil aliens who want to destroy the entire human race. Haha. Uh -huh. Do not invent the movie. It is not about that. Oh, on that poster, there were no spaceships. Exactly. This is the effect of surprise. Why on the poster draw aliens? This will reveal the whole point plot of the movie. Okay, enough. Let's watch. I was wrong. This is not a horror film. I told you, but it seems that this is not fantastic. I told you. Do not mock. Do you think he will go into this room? I think not. And it seems to me that he will go into every door. He told the detective that he would search every corner of his house. He will pass by and not enter the door, because there is another evidence that will expose his friend. Look! He goes towards the door! Let's argue. He, he will not go through the door. Okay, if I win, you will carry me on your hands to my house. Deal. That's always me and my aunt. You always like bet on things. He passed by as I said. Wait, maybe he'll go through the door on the way back.
it's not fair. Why did he enter the door? <laughs> we went back there, so as not to arouse the suspicions of a t detective. If he didn't go there and not and not throw the photo out of the window, the detective could go there later, and then he would have got both of them. You can start training. My house is far away to go. Ah. Uh, I love black and white cinema since childhood, as it turned out she too. After that, after their first trip, he turned to the cinema. They began to go there almost every week. Okay guys, it looks like I'm gonna end it here because my voice is starting to ache right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed the- I hope you guys enjoy the game someday because I love interacting with things. I love- I love like, you know, peaceful games. And Games that are really, you know, meaningful in a way. Well, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the second part of the episode. And this is basically the end of the first one. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys leave a like, a comment, and a share. And so, guys, don't forget to subscribe because I make videos almost every day. And yeah, this is basically it. My name is Taylor Candy, and bye.